I'm Sir SirTapTap, and guess who almost streamed this to the test server instead of the real server? I was testing some stuff around. Oh, I can't hear the game. There we go. Okay. So, I started over, and it turns out I actually missed a early on health item in my original playthrough. I think it was in the farm in the Mimiga village. Anyway, I played again on easy mode, which is why I'm all yellow. I'm sure the yellow is on purpose. Also, this game has a skip cutscene button! I had no idea I had that. I don't know if that's new to Cave Story Plus? I assume it's new to Plus, right? It doesn't seem like the sort of game that would at least originally have skip cutscene now. In this playthrough, I decided to get a uh, machine gun. And, uh, I went, went with a nemesis, because I figured it might be useful for the, uh, hell or whatever that thing's called. Hey, son. You still messing with those game shark codes? I told you got about game shark codes, bro. I warned you, dog. Oh, God. I think uh, somebody said this last time that Misery is the hardest part of this boss fight, and honestly, I think she is. Obviously, it's a lot easier in, in this difficulty. I actually rather like easy mode. Um, I mentioned before, wow, it even skips the, uh, it even speeds up the animations. That is a very good cutscene skip. I approve of that wholeheartedly. By the way, it's chat. Oh, it's not. Hold on. I was doing some normal recording. Chat? There you go. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I was doing some, uh, I did a, I recorded Kamiko actually just a bit ago. And, uh, I forgot to turn that back on. Finally, it's complete. Yeah, we saw this last time. Um, but this is the original graphics, by the way. Um, they just had a patch where they added back in the original graphics, which is nice. So, why I like the machine gun is it does pretty good damage, but in addition, and more importantly, honestly, it is a free jetpack that recharges extremely quickly. I think it could stay in air indefinitely, or at least, if not indefinitely, very close to indefinitely. Because, uh... And there's some awful platforming in the hell area, so I figured this would help. I've never actually gotten all the way through hell, so I'm not entirely sure it will ease my way through it. But uh, I figure between the machine gun and easy mode, I should be... I should finally be able to beat the stupid thing. I can't imagine beating it on hard mode. I think with with effort, I could beat, like, maybe the normal game on hard mode. Hard mode is insane in this game, by the way. You only get one heart container over the whole playthrough. Uh, it really seems needlessly difficult. Also, Quote becomes a real boy, which actually looks really weird. I'll show it to you after. Um, after I win or something, if I remember. Yeah, Quote has, like, human skin-colored skin, which is weird and inappropriate. That's right, Parker. Yes! Yes, hello! Yes! Hello to you, too! Anyway, um... Oh, can't skip this one. Uh, for some reason, C Curly still doesn't have difficulty modes. I asked Nicholas if they're, uh... Nicholas, or how do you say that? I asked them if they're gonna add that in. Didn't get a reply back yet, but, uh... They added in the classic graphics, which... I like a few things better in the classic graphics. Um, a couple of the faces feel a lot more intense. Especially Misery's, like, evil smirk looks a lot more intense in, um... In, uh, the classic graphics. Why do you float on air? Anyway, this is the Nemesis. So something I, know, I found out about the Nemesis, um, the Nemesis is what you trade King's sword for. Um, it turns out the Nemesis actually... Oops. So the Nemesis is the strong weapon that uh, actually powers down if you uh, if you get experience. But the Nemesis actually is a two-way trade. Like you can trade back for it, which makes me feel so much less guilty about trading it away that uh, I just decided to go do it. Because I figured maybe maybe I'll have trouble getting keeping experience for the hit for the uh, what what is the real name for the Hell Cave anyway? I just know it is Hell, but I think it has a real name. Like, isn't it just Final Cave or something? But yeah, this is going for the best ending. The, uh... I don't know what it's called exactly, but yeah, when you fight Balos. Spoilers. 
Not that Balos actually means anything to anybody who has already beat the game, but... Oh, crap. Let's get rid of Misery. She's a more problem than I recall. Game 4. There we go. I always get anxiety in these kind of fights where there's, like, friend that is, like, transformed into evil, and I never want to hurt them because there's games that will punish you or even give you a game over for doing that. I, I never liked stuff like that. Oh, yeah. It's immediately pretty weak once you get... I should just get hit by something, honestly. Oh, what I was trying to say earlier, I, I kind of like how... I think that the damage values are a little bit low in easy mode, but I actually much prefer how the uh, experience system ends up working in easy mode, because I don't actually really care for the way experience works in Cave Story. Um, certainly not the loss of experience aspect. It's not like a huge deal, but I find myself having to grind weapons, well basically never in easy mode. Things also die faster, which... Honestly, if I could keep everything the same, but only have the experience be the way it works in easy mode, and even just take the same amount of damage as normal mode, I would actually think I would be fine with that. Wait, I don't know at what point this uh, changes, actually. We need to escape. It's called Hell. Oh, that's probably the original translation then, right? Or the, the fan translation. Um, I think Aeon Genesis? Or something like that. I think it's Bloodstained Sanctuary, now that I think about it. Uh, do I have to do something to get there? I honestly, like I said, I never... I have the item that you need. You need this Iron Bond. Uh, I don't know if there's something we have to do about this. Prefab House. Oh, right! I think... If you're going to give up, I'll turn back time a minute or two. Give up? No. Oh, right! You can, um, so that... Pen's leaning to one side. So I think what that does is if hell is too hard for you, you can go back. A black wind blows through your body. All weapons drop to level one! Ah, uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, that sounds familiar. Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah, don't you hear the first part of this in a, like, a dream sequence earlier on? Did you know that the woman named Jenka had a younger brother? His name was Balos. I know it was about Balrog before, I think. And his sister... And like his sister, he possessed magical powers that no man had. Were these instant kill before, or would, did these always deal normal damage? Okay, those are the death ones. They look exactly like the other ones, but... Okay, so I need to level up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I think I fell on the little spikes. Okay, it's the tiny spikes that are... Okay, I understand. Arg. I think there's only really two translations. There's the original, or the fan translation from... I think I'm just gonna take that hit. I, I'm immediately remembering why I stopped playing at this point. <laughs> immediately. I thought... I think I got a little farther than this, but I definitely remember rage quitting on this. Okay. So what I really need is if I can get... If I can get my machine gun leveled up... Things will suck a lot less. They'll still suck a lot, but less. Fuck. Oh, there's a heart container. Yes, Parker. Yes, hello. Yes. Um, can I? You're locked in. Oh, good. So, fuck. <laughs> so it turns out easy mode does not actually matter in any way, shape, or form for this part. Oh, did I forget the stupid- oh my god, I hate having to change the stupid name things. Cave story... Ugh, my absolute least favorite part of streaming. 
I absolutely despise having to change the goddamn stream thing 500 billion times. Alright, it's changed. Fucking Christ. Okay. There will be plenty of swearing in this stream. I've been playing this game for five years and I only finished this area once. I can't imagine playing this on hard mode, though I guess... Yeah, I'm just gonna take that damage. I'm not sure this area is actually even any e any easier on easy mode. Oh, thanks. Just don't even give me the experience. Thanks. Why? Why is that even there? Oh my god. And I can't even. I can't even take a hit to like get invincibility frames like in good old Mega Man. Oh fucking hell. Oh man. Okay. I figured easy mode would make this easier. Um, I, I did not recall the exact amount of instant death spikes. Okay. Just trying to be clever. I like how easy mode reduces the damage that you take from the instant death spikes, but it's still instant death. It's like, gee, thanks. Really, you really helped me out there. Okay. So if you have booster 8.0 or 0 0.8 or whatever the hell it is. Uh, can you attempt this area? It's just impossible, or... Okay, Th that one overhang. Are there other... Oh, man. This is gonna be fun. This is actually worse than I remember, and I remember rage quitting this. Good. I'm remembering why hell runs were such a big thing back then. Did Deceased Crab- yeah, Deceased Crab did do this. Then again, he played La Mulana, so... Glutton for punishment, I guess. Oh boy. Game won't let you come here without Booster 2.0. Uh, if I could just level up my goddamn, um... Machine gun. I would... I think I could have gotten to the thing. If I had machine gun level 3, I would be so safe. Or if I could hit some spikes and um, get some invincibility frames. Oops. Oh no! That was that was the nemesis that I upgraded. Oh god damn it. Yep, I... I... Yeah. I should probably just save with the uh, the thing in hand. Wait, what's this? What's the sign? The signs. The sign has to be important. I just noticed this. The hell? It's playing. Oh, I can't reach the sign. But how do I? No, I have to know what's on the sign, dude. He led and protected the people within his magical power. They loved and trusted him, even more than their own king. Curly! Ow. He's the Toro Punk Curly. Alright. Hop on, loser, we're saving the world. So, yeah, cherubs are evil, by the way. I hope they turn green. Oh my god. Okay. Please don't tell me these are insta death. Oh my god. I honestly do not remember. I wanna- yes! Okay. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, they're not insta-death. Okay. 
Okay. Everything is fine. Ow. Should probably still stop getting hit though. I don't think the last bit of platforming is that bad. Jealous of Balos, the resentful king caught and imprisoned him. His punishment was severe and cruel. Humans truly are terrible creatures. Ow. They give me the experience. I need level 3, dude. No. Please. Angels, please. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. It hit the ground already. Give me your experience. Yes. No, please. Why? Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. Ballas was driven into a state of pure, uncontrollable rage by punishment. Weakened by the torture, he was helpless to contain the fury. The king and kingdom were swelled by Ballas', Ballas ma bleh, wild magical force. The life that loved so dearly was turned into ruins. In a single night, shrouded only by fiery hot ashes. I think I'll get those hearts. Oh god. Oh, Curly's awake! She's got the nemesis! Okay. There's yeah, something I actually really like. The, the nemesis you can trade back. And I never wanted to trade, I never even wanted to try the nemesis initially because like it's King Sword and I don't want to give that away. But it it's if it's not permanent, like, I'm okay with that. Even though that like obviously I can't trade it back before the end of the game. I can't go there, but it just makes it just mentally better for me. It just bugs me less somehow. Okay, I, never mind. I am totally glad that I did this in easy mode because it it still does help. Does anybody else feel that the uh, the missile launcher is not remotely as amazing as the game makes it out to be? Like, it's so quote-unquote good that the game doesn't even let you have it on hard mode. I've never actually found it particularly great unless all of your other weapons are, like, leveled down or something. It's not, like, super bad, and, like, early on it can be pretty good against some bosses, but... It's not something that's, like, super amazing. Huh? Sign says, welcome to hell? Okay. There must be like a secret path to get to there. Also, sorry to anybody who wanted to see hell in um, enhanced graphics, but I I figured I would try the uh, enhanced or the uh, the original graphics, uh, which is what I played my first time, obviously, because there weren't. Any other kind of graphics. These eyes are so Reaver body, and I love it. I wonder if it's intentional. Driven insane by his punishment, Bellos was confined to the floating island in the sky by his sister Jenka. That was all she could do. For Jenka, killing her own younger brother would be impossible. Oh crap. Oh gosh. Okay. I don't even know why I'm leveling this one up. It's just the second level up. I just have an instinct to level things up. I got the nemesis, so I wouldn't be as beholden to level ups. Because while it does level up to one instantly, or after with only one XP, it also levels down after just taking two hits, or two HP of damage. So, pretty easy to keep low level. Also, is it just me or is Curly firing? I don't think Curly... Okay, Curly is semi-auto, even though I'm auto. That's frustrating. So does she... I assume she uses her machine gun if you don't trade it with her. Please. Okay. Whoa! Ow. 
Ow. I don't really need to give those a particularly wide berth, do I? That really explode as big as I thought they did. In my opinion, the snake is the best weapon. It's one that gets trading. Shoot, shoot through walls. Oh yeah, there has been some areas where shooting through walls would definitely be nice. There we go, you just gotta mash. Oh my god, do they spawn infinitely? No, there's just a lot of them. Okay. There we go. I never really considered the snake, because it's like, it costs two weapons. Even though I don't really use the fireball anymore. I did use it a couple times after Grass Town. But, uh... Jenka's witch daughter, Misery, is to blame for the demon crown. She forced Balos to create it. Because of this offense, she was compelled by the crown. Or cursed by the crown, compelled to obey whoever possesses with it. The curse can be lifted if the demon crown is destroyed, however... Oh god. I mostly got the, the thing for the, uh... The platforming segments. Plus, I figured I would be losing less experience in easy mode, so, um, the spurs... Max missiles increased by 24! Oh, okay! That's like my entire stock of missiles. 54. Assuming I'm saving those for Balos. Boss? Oh, right. I'm actually not sure I even got this far, to be quite honest. I think I got a little farther than this. I think because he stamps down and you go through that cave and the, the passage that we saw before. I've forgotten about that. Oh, Curly shoots up with me too! Oh, that is actually pretty nice. Oh yeah, I remember this. too bad. The Demon Crown will be restored anew an infinite number of times so long as Balus's heart still beats. That is the supreme magical power of his eternally enraged soul. It is intrinsically imbued to his evil creation, the Demon Crown. Hi, unfortunately I don't want to refresh 1,000 times. What do you mean? Is your chat not working? Yeah, and you can destroy these first stuff. They turn into Mimigas! <laughs> Quote is freaking a beast with... Imagine, like, using a machine gun to, to carve statues. He's amazing. Quote. Toroko. King. Curly face. Aw. He's such a swell guy. Hasn't been for the past few days. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why Twitch is chat things just kind of always sucks. Oh, is this the first time you've seen Cave Story? It's pretty much classic. Hold on. Curly will always use the nemesis when you trade for machine gun or not. Whether you trade for the machine gun or not and fires when you push the fire button. If you fall out of weapons. Yeah, I noticed you have to mash with it. Please kill my master. Doing so will liberate the misery from our eternal curse. This is the only way that re recurrence of the tragedy can be stopped. My master's name is Balus. He is a man who cannot die. His magic is beyond any control. Thanks, ghost dog. Seal chamber. Oh, whoa. Lots of nice little skulls around here. Hey, Balos! Welcome! Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. I'm Balos. Long, long ago, I allowed my drive for magical power to recklessly grow, or to grow recklessly without fear of enduring any retribution. Magic so powerful that even its own master was helpless to control it. So furious and unstoppable was this force that its fire consumed the child who adored me and the wife who loved me. They were swallowed by its flames and suffered dearly, all because of my selfish transgression. My eyes were fixed and I was unable to turn away from the fiery horror created by my own magic. I could only laugh then. Jenka sealed me away, 
my magic raging more violently with each passing minute. I've long waited for this. The person will bring my immense magical fury to its end. Now kill me, or I will kill you! That seems like a fair trade. Aw, look at his little smile. What a nice friend, Ow. See, the thing in this fight is you don't... I think later on there's a thing that you can get some experience from. For the most part you can't get experience, so the nemesis is pretty good to have here. Also, reading chat's gonna not really be a thing for a bit here. Ow. Oh god, we're dead. Well, we will soon be dead. Health please, health please, health please. Oh, not, not... No, no, I want a machine gun. Can these things even drop HP? No, please! No, there was health! Oh, god damn it. Uh, arg. Wait. I didn't have max health when I came down here? Alright, hold on. Oh. Oh, now we get to see the sign. Okay. Welcome to hell! Thanks! <sighs> You're not kidding. This jittery screen is messing with me. You mean the uh, the earthquake? That's just ow. That's just in game. Arg. All right, let me change guns. I'm glad that the death puzzle is the very first thing that you do. <gasps> okay. Hey, Curly. Let's go kick some ass. I don't need to bother getting experience for anything. But this. Please. Ah, oh, you assholes. Five damage from the little one? I'm more familiar with the music for this than I am the area because of the soundtrack. Alright. It feels like enemies drop hearts even more rarely in this area, that might just be in my imagination. That's why I got a machine gun. Please, no. I guess maybe this machine gun's good for Balos, because we do get all these extra missiles here. I'm not sure- oh god! Excuse you, I thought you were dead. I guess the screen does jitter the whole time, doesn't it? Because, I mean, the island is falling. I kind of don't even notice it. I think it's one of those things that when you're playing, you just kind of don't even see. I've honestly never been a huge fan of screen shake. 
I know it's everybody's favorite juice to apply to every single game, but uh, it can be alright, but I think it's generally over applied. I can see why the snake would be pretty good here, but uh, far too late for that, so whatever. Oh. Stupid cherubs. I always knew they were evil. I always knew it. Why did that pop open just now? I can't possibly need that. Strategy for Balrogs, first two phases, don't die. On top shooting is final form, there's an area just by where you have to shoot a small amount of passage. I'm sure he means Balos, but yeah. There's an area just by where you have to shoot, it's small pixel tube, but you stand there, he can't hit you and shoot to the nemesis. Is there like, how do I know what to look for? I don't think I've ever even made it to... I, I've definitely never made it to his final form. Um, I don't even think I've beaten the form that I died to uh, a bit ago there. Oh god. Oh hey, we have max health now, so that's nice. In hard mode, you would have to do this with, I believe, eight health. So uh, have fun with that. Just one game, but that I, while I love, I would definitely, absolutely never, even particularly consider playing on the hardest difficulty. Or, I mean, at the very most, I would go for... I mean, I guess I could just do a normal run instead of the hell playthrough, but, uh... Yeesh. Alright. Have at me, you little punks. Oh, don't die in the spikes! I need that heart! Alright. off, losers! Alright. Oh, right. Don't want to miss that. <gasps> okay. Okay, we're good. Whew. You have to shoot his red eye, like so there's a spot about two pixels from said eye where you can stand and hit him. Huh. I guess I'll try and keep an eye out for that. Ah, whatever. I should be max health from- oh, there we go. 
I should get max health from the uh, statues. Ugh. Does Balas have three forms or four? I think he has four. This is a pretty cute touch here, though. I don't even know what I want to have this experience for. I was hoping for some parts, honestly. Oh, dang, that's straight up to max. Oh, well, answers that question. He has three forms. Oh, okay. That's a relief. So we got one third of the way through then. Uh, there's no like secret, like save point in between or something, is there? I don't think there is, but. I'm not the absolute best of this game. Hey, Doggo. I know. Yeah, if you really wanted to help me, Doggo, you could give me, you know, like a save point. Alright. Just saying. Welcome! Yeah, we, we know you're Balos. We know you're the giant freaking dick nose. Oh god, no! enough to hit you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I can't do the thing! No, I'm stuck inside of him! Why? Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Do I stand like just... Is the spot that I need to stand visible on him now? Because it would be very useful to know that perfect spot to stand in advance. So I'm very scared to start this next phase. So this is why I got the shot, the, the, the machine gun, by the way. Best, best gun. Okay. Also, I just generally love any gun that gives you, or any ability, really, that gives you, uh, ability to, uh, like, greater movement abilities, not just, you know, damage. Ow. Okay. Okay, so I have to hit his left eye. Ow. Ah. Okay. Oh right, I can shoot up as well, thanks to Curly. Sometimes I can hit him and I don't know why. Like from above, I mean. Ah, there we go. Now we're talking. Now I see why the missile launcher is restricted on hard mode. Oh shit, oh wait. No, I'm leveled up. Okay. I was wondering, because it gives you 30 missiles, and it's like, am I really going to be needing that? And apparently I am. Health, please. Okay.
I can't. I'm stuck. No! Uh, whatever you were trying to tell me to do, I think I screwed up. Okay. A my ammo refill. This is not as panic inducing as I was expecting for this final form. I can't even. Maybe this isn't his final form, because it doesn't seem to be vulnerable. I guess I just have to break all the eyes first. And then I can do that trick you talked about. Ugh. You do run out of ammo with the, uh, the thingy. <laughs> I think I've run out of ammo more in this fight than I have, like, in the rest of the game. You got a lot more experience in here than I thought you did. I wonder if that's partly to screw with people trying to use the Nemesis. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, you can just kind of hover if you just tap. Because of the regening ammo. For anybody who didn't know, the, the guy in the labyrinth, the bug chop dealer dude, he, uh, uh oh. What is this? Are you- are you Reznor? Oh my god. Okay. That's... Okay. I see. Okay, so he does have four forms. Good for him! The hands are gonna be sore after this one. off, Cherubs. Nobody likes you. Okay. Honestly, I think his first form hurt the most. Oh my god, he's dead. Is he dead? We have cutscene, so he is dead. Whew! Okay. Glad I played that on easy mode. the island didn't crash. Hey, Curly. It stopped. The island stopped falling. Was the negative power weakened with his defeat? I don't really get it, but whatever. Maybe our work here is finally over. Can't breathe. Huh? Ah, it's so painful. Oh, no. Oh, there's more? There's not allowed to be more. No. It's better be cutscene. Help. Can't breathe. It's so hot. We're both gonna be crushed in here. Hey. Oh, hey. Huzzah! There you are. Just like Misery said. You came to save us. Hold on tight. Here we go! Wah! Smash through all those skeletons. Whew. How's your head? A little beat up. He has bat wings now, by the way. Close. Such a narrow escape. I thought it was scrap metal this time. Looks like we owe you yet another one. Phew. There's no need for that. I did what Misery asked. Misery? Is in that witch? Yep. Doesn't she hate us? Wait, don't you hate us? You two defeated Balos. Our curse was lifted thanks to you. Misery, I no longer have to follow up, listen to orders from anyone. I thought you were a bad guy, but it was just because of the demon crown? We asked for it. You have to remember, it was Misery who had Balos make the crown. Yeah, really? I didn't know that. Yep. Curly can't hear exposition. And now, what are you gonna do now? I can take you anywhere. Well, since you asked, he, he reminds me a lot of um, Koopa Jr. or whatever. Troopa Jr., the, the, the Paper Mario mid-boss. He's, he's the mid-boss, he has different forms, he's got wings in one of them. The mission's complete, so I wanna live somewhere calm with a nice view. Pardon me, but, uh, yes? Can I go with? Sure. All three of us, we can live together for sure. <laughs> Man, my fingers hurt. Really? You can even pick a spot where we all live. But take us somewhere nice. Gotcha. All right, hang on. Yeah, Junior Troopa. Oh, 
stretch my little fingers. Junior Troopa. Yeah, it was something like that. Looks up to her brother. Sometimes. Oh, these are the same as before. I think Balos on the left is new, but... Ugh. She looks like, um, Felicia. Sue's, like, semi-human, half mimic form. She looks straight out of Darkstalkers. Which would be a good name for a remix album. Oh yeah, crafting in um, Legend of Mana, that's some rough stuff. A friend of mine way back when, he made like a plus 300 damage hammer completely on accident. I never had a guide for that game. I think I just looked up some stuff. I forget if, no, I think that was before I even knew if game facts existed. But that was a really fun game. I, I wish there was less permanence. Probably the single biggest thing that annoys me in RPGs and stuff is permanence. I'm really not a big fan. Unless it's like a short game. Or to a lesser extent something like Morrowind, where the choices kind of are the gameplay, but still. I... I like being able to do all of the things. I, I did some a little bit of stuff off screen that you didn't see that I didn't do in the original video, but that was that was Pooh Black with a little nurse hat. Um, I went and did the thing to save Curly. Um, somebody mentioned it, but all I had to do was take Curly with me in the waterway, because you can't get back in the waterway. Um, you just have to take her with you. And that's kind of rude, because the game says she needs rest, but you need to not leave her in the bed where she can get rest. But whatever. Pfft. <laughs> exploded. Rolling. What a good name. Innocent Demon, Green Devil. Doesn't seem very innocent. Well, actually, I guess you seem pretty innocent, but whatever. You had to die, too. Machine monster lurks in the sand. <laughs> I love the look on that cat's face when you defeat it. Oh, by the way, that alien medal we got apparently means I didn't get hit by Iron Head at all. I didn't get that this time. Hate and madness made flesh. Three phase completely forgot about phase three. Ah. Just... Uh. No problem. I didn't have too much trouble there. That probably would have been different in heart in normal mode, though less. That made less of a difference than I would have thought. I'm surprised I only had to redo the boss himself twice. But that in that initial section there, difficult didn't matter at all, but oh well. Hi friends. Hold any button to exit. Studio Pixel. Oh yeah, and here's the uh No. The graphics option that I was complaining about way back when they edited it in. Also, this game completely ignores, if you're on original music, this game completely ignores your music setting, it seems like. I don't know if they fixed that, but it seems like it. Sanctuary time attempt. So this is... Sanctuary time attempt. So this is Wind Fortress thing that was apparently cut from the original game. And, um... It's this thing with Curly, and uh, it seems really cool, so it's it's a whole new thing. Well, it's not new to the Switch version or anything. The Switch doesn't really have anything particularly new on it, um, but uh, this is something that was cut from the game, and uh, they added it back in Cave Story Plus. Wait, do I have the booster too? Or the, oh. I don't have any booster, I can just boost. Okay. But there's a new boss and everything, and some new enemies. So I guess this would have been kind of like under the island. 
It just feels right to kill these things with King's Blade. I think it deals just about perfect damage to kill him, too. that over there. No! Rest in peace experience. Oh. Oh, you go over this way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rip. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Even more rip. Okay. I wonder if the Genesis port, if they're gonna add that. If they're gonna add this or anything. I don't think the Genesis port is quite complete. But, oh yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. Um, somebody is porting over this to the Genesis, and uh, it's... Pretty dang close. Um, I'm not sure if it has a particular name, but... I'm sure if you just Google, like, Cave Story Genesis, I would think you'd find it. I miss my jetpack, honestly. Stupid bugs. I never like bugs that fly. Spiders don't really bug me, but anything that's like flying around just annoys me. Why do they get to fly and I don't? What's how, what's where's the fairness in that, huh? That's what I'm saying. Come here, jerk. Oh god. Okay. That was closer than I would have liked. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! Really? Screw this whole experience gathering thing. We're just rushing through. Yes, the Sega Genesis, as in the 16-bit console. Whew. Okay. So what's the gimmick? What do I need to go up like this? Is that how I get the maximum horizontal? Is actually by going up instead of over? Because I know some games do stuff like that. I hate the armored ones. No, no, get. Oh, okay, that was not as hard as I was making it. I still don't like it, but. I've never actually played this before since you had to, uh, you have to beat the, uh, you have to get the true ending to unlock this and some of the other trials. And, uh, well, never done that before. Get out of here. Okay, screw those hearts. Don't need them. Very tempted, but no. <gasps> no, what do you, oh my god, why? Is to tap the. 
just seems to be holding up. Like that? thing needs so much experience. Whoa, I didn't realize the blade could deal less than 15 damage. That'll do me good. Oh, you gotta be... Oh my god. Arbitrary health values. Die. Oh, hey. Health. Okay, so, with the armored guys, I think it's actually the blades that deflect your shots, not actually their armor. So, maybe they're easier to deal with than I. Oh. Huh? Why did that hit behind me? Please be the end of the platforming. Okay, there's ground. I like this. There's ground. Ground is my favorite thing. Oh god. Ground. Woo! Get out of here. What did I tell you about ground game? No. Give me the ground back. Oh god, are those curlies? <gasps> game, please. Okay. Why are there evil curlies? <gasps> no, game! You can't do this to me! Oh, you fucker! Oh. Oh god. Okay. 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 It's about to get very mad. It's about to get very mad at a video game. Oh my god, okay. Curly, please. Curly, no. I'm your friend. We're friends. Please. Oh god, Curly, no. Oh my god, Curlies. Why are there so many Curlies? Oh man. I want to make a programming language joke, but there's no language that uses Curly braces like this. I think it's like Lisp. Does, oh god, why are you evil? No, no zombie, I'm not into the zombie curly. Whoa. Oh, they look super creepy in the things. Alright, boss time? There's the real curly! Curly, I'm here to save you. Curly. Curly sleeps inside the machine. Hello, monitor. Huh? 
monitor is the target. Ah! Don't make out with me! It's inappropriate! Oh my god, they have 18 billion health. Ah, what are you doing? That is, that is, no. Do not play house with me, doctor, whatever you do, I don't, I don't, I don't approve of this. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, I'm toast. Oh, dead. Oh my god, please. Yeah. Crap. Spur? Wait, no, I thought that was the Polar Star. Are you sure? Oh. That's the Polar Star, or that, that is the Spur, okay. I feel stupid, I thought this was just the Polar Star. So I wasn't bothering to use it. I don't know why I got that treasure map. Okay, that... Honestly, for that boss, it might have been pretty good, but whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother getting the uh, experience. I will bother killing you jerks, though. Jerk, please. There you go. much more confident using the spur like this. <gasps> no! <sighs> ah, come on. Okay. You gotta do the space jump thing. How, what, what is the count? Oh. Is that just... Is that just for speedrunniness? The counter? Is that... Am I not actually going to die? If I, uh... Like, is there an actual time limit on this? Because when it said two... 90, I thought it meant like, I thought it meant like I had 2 minutes 90 seconds, which now that I think about it is not a thing. So maybe it doesn't. Why is it 290? Get out of here. This bird looks weird. It has like... Oh god damn it. work. The counter works just like, let's say it's just for time trials. Oh, okay. I guess these are all time trials, aren't they? The uh, extra modes. I was just playing this just because it's new content, not because, you know, I don't really care about my elite speedrun skills right now. Huge fan of the intense um, thing uh, booster based gameplay, honestly. Alright, come back. Oh, stupid loser. There you go.
I like how the jetpack, it kind of, it refills itself a little bit. So you kind of got some, uh... Leeway should you fall. Alright, we're good. Just in case I'll try to level this, the sword here though. Was there a counter in Bloodstained Sanctuary? I didn't see a thing. Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Please! Okay. Okay. You gotta remember the space jump thingy. Piercing from the spur is very useful here, but really wish I hadn't taken that much damage. Alright. Gonna have some blitz in your sanctuary if you in fact didn't get the counter act. Oh! You didn't get the counter item? You can't go there? I don't remember getting the counter. Let me guess, these don't drop hearts. I could use some hearts. You're not going to give me what I want, are you? Oh. Please? No. Good news with the spur, it'll be a lot easier to take care of the curly clones. Assigned higher priority to the curly clones. Oh my god, please. Why did I fire up? Fucker! I was gonna spam King on it! May defend on the version. When, when, when do you get the counter? Maybe I did get it and just forgot, but I don't recall getting it. <sighs> Alright, King's Blade, not, not of any value. Rush through. No! 
Oh, that's just a trap. That's... why did I do that? The encounter on the outer wall area where what's his face at the dragon ass you want to leave on the dragon. Huh. I think they might have removed that, because yeah, I don't... I don't think I did that. That or it's no longer required. Did I have a timer when I was going through the uh, Bloodstained Sanctuary? I don't honestly remember. I wasn't really paying much attention to the UI. Turning out to be almost as hand destroying as the plus stained sanctuary was. If I could just not have to replay this, and I just I just wanted to fight the new boss and see any new story bits if they in fact exist. right up to me. It was ferocious. There we go. Oh, you fuck. You thought you had me, but you didn't. Get out of here. situations make me hold my d-pad a bit hard than I probably should. Ugh, a bit hand -achy. There we go. Anyone want to give me some heart drops? Pfft. There we go. Thank you. Oh my god, no! Oh, 
all of that. Fucker. I should have just rushed through. I just thought I would get some freaking health drops. Okay, gotta do a better job of managing the curlies. They're way more of a threat than the actual boss. I know you're gonna do the thing. Please hearts? Please give hearts, please? No hearts? Oh, come on. There's not even gonna be a single one. Nope, not a single one. And I can't keep this charge either. That was a waste of like two minutes, trying to farm for a heart. Oh fuck. They just spawn infinitely, or... Oh my god. I can't do anything! What the fuck?! What?! So... You... What?! There was like ten times as many curlies in that fight as there's been before. You... Are you just supposed to completely ignore them? What the fuck? I think I've actually died on this more than I have in Bloodstained Sanctuary. Oh fucking Christ! Piss off, you stupid piece of shit! God. I absolutely despise anything in a game that blocks my shots. That shouldn't that just should not be a thing. Let's go back to the king spam method, I guess. I'm not expecting this to be anywhere near this hard, really. This is the Bloodstained Sanctuary, I was at least expecting it to be awful! Oh my god! Okay. If you kill all the curlies, more come along with the boss dress. This. Apparently that thing, the reason I hadn't heard about that bit, watch ad for bits thing, is it's apparently in beta, so they might be tweaking their rates and all that crap. Though frankly it's like the least they can do for affiliates because like, we don't get money for ads whatsoever. And we can't turn them off like we can on YouTube, which is a very cool and underrated feature by the way. Christ, what the fuck? 
Why did I not go in the fucking thing? Gotta admit, I'm honestly not really the biggest fan of Cave Story's actual platforming physics. Get fucked. Oh. No! Why does that- This one corner just absolutely does not want to let my shots through. There's supposed to be one that falls through the ceiling, but oh, whatever. better luck when I just frickin' ran through here and ignored them. Why are you not- There you go. Of course it's not a heart. Oh well, this is still better than last time health-wise. Much better! Oh wow, now you're being nice. Stupid jerks. <sighs> well. Well help. I was not expecting to make it through with that. Like, so freaking rude that. Ignore the dead goose, Curly. It's nothing weird. Uh, what is this? We having a party? <laughs> Most inappropriate line of dialogue ever. The end? Were <laughs> you having a party? Amazing. Congratulations on defeating Wind Fortress. Woohoo! I'm number 176! Woo! Number one of my friends who are stupid dumb wieners and don't have this game. <laughs> Quote in quotes. Good, good name. Alright. Are any of these other ones actually any fun? And by fun, I mean nothing like- oh hey, Mimika statues. Oh, this is the booster point eight. 290 counter. Why is it the 290 counter? Oh god. <laughs> Not playing that one! No. Uh, Sanctuary time attack. Oh god, no. Uh, boss attack. No. Sand pit. Fireball. Oh, I think I tried this one briefly. Is, are any of these any fun, in anyone's opinion? I'm not sure I'm really all that interested in these, especially not after just doing doing the goddamn Blood Saint Sanctuary. Oh, 
Oh, you don't have the boosts. Or oh, okay. Um. Why are there star things when it knows you can't open them? Why do you say things you know will hurt me? Okay, it's gonna be really weird to get used to not having the booster now. Oh god, why are there two? Look at them freaking human. Little creep cherubs. Challenge I done is Wind Fortress, so I wouldn't know. Oh, you're storming again? I think it's a clear weekend here. It's actually really chilly. It was, well, not really, but it was kind of chilly yesterday and today. At least if you're wearing summer clothes. It was surprising, but nice in a way. Too bad. Gosh. Yeah, I do hope they'll finally add um, the difficulty modes to Curly's difficulties, because I noticed that because I was going to replay it in Curly mode and on easy so I could do the Bloodstained Sanctuary, but instead I'll have to do a separate mode, like I'll have to play Curly like a separate thing. More cave story isn't the worst thing in the world, but, uh... Sorry, what? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Um... It just would have been nice to be able to do that. They they had di difficulty modes in curly mode before, too, by the way. The 3DS version has it, for sure. Um... It's just the Switch version doesn't for some reason. But they've added a... The freaking dog ran into the spikes and distracted me. All right, we're... I'm not gonna play that one either, honestly. Oh, no. Neat little challenges, but I just wanted to see the new boss. It was pretty neat other than the aggravation. Um, hmm. I think I'm probably done for the day. I'm gonna, I got some other stuff I wanna get to off stream. So thanks for watching everybody. That was, well, fun in a way. It was, it was an accomplishment, put it that way. I've finally beaten, the, I've finally gotten the true end of good old cave story and beat the wind fortress too. So it's pretty cool. And I guess I can finally swap out the card from this. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. See you. Oh, right. Tomorrow. Um, join me tomorrow. <clears throat> excuse me, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central, and we'll be doing Itch.io Randomizer stream and playing a ton of random games. And uh, we don't know what we'll get, so that's half the fun. But yeah, hopefully hopefully we'll have a good turnout for that. That starts out a little bit earlier than my usual streams. That's, uh, that's a little under three hours before now in whatever your time zone is. Uh, 4 p.m. Central. But yeah, see you then, hopefully.